let's divide 966 by 42. 966 is our dividend, 42 is our divisor, and we are solving for our quotient. Let's first do our multiplication um, to see how many times 42 will go into 966. I know that if I multiply 42 times 100, I am going to get 4200 zero, zero. because I have two zeros here, so I'll have two zeros here. That number is much too big um, for 966. So we are not going to multiply our 42 times 100. Let's start off by multiplying 42 times 10. 42 times 10 is 420. 42 times 20, I'm just going to add 420 to 420. 0 plus 0, 0. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. So I know that 42 times 20 is 840. I'm going to do 42 times 30. And I'm going to say 420 plus 840. 0 plus 0 is 0. 4 plus 2 is 6. 8 plus 4 is 12. I can look over here and say, well, 966 is smaller than 1260 or 1260. So I'm going to need to use the next lowest number, 840. 840 is close to 8, 966, but it does not go over. And I'm going to take this 20 and make it my partial quotient right up top. I'm going to subtract 6 minus 0 is 6, 6 minus 4 is 2, 9 minus 8 is 1, and I know that I have 126 left. Um, am I done? No. 126 is greater than 42. Now, if I take off my zeros so that I'm just multiplying by ones and not tens, I can notice that 42 is too small, 84 is too small, but 126 is exactly the right number. I didn't have to go any further. So I'm going to put 126 here and my 3 as a partial quotient. I'm going to add those together. 6 minus 6 is 0, 2 minus 2 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. 20 plus 3 equals 23. So my quotient is 23. Now, if this is a really big test and you want to make sure that you're getting the right answer, or for some reason, whoops, this is very important, so we're going to double check it, I can multiply 23 times 44. And if I get 966, I've gotten the right answer. So 42 times 23. 2 times 3 is 6. 4 times 3 is 12. Put my 0 here. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. I'm going to add up my numbers. 6 plus 0 is 6, 2 plus 4 is 6, 1 plus 8 is 9, 966 is the same as 966, so I know I've gotten my answer correct.